So this is our local arcade in Wichita. And there's, you pay 10 bucks to get in and basically play to your heart's content. There's no time limit until they close. But pretty sweet to still have places like this my daughter, both my daughters, they've never really experienced a true arcade before, so, and my son's around here somewhere. So we've been here for about three hours so far, I think. Um, you do have to pay a quarter per pinball play, but pretty awesome deal uh, for a quarter. Um, they've got some, a lot of brand new machines too, uh, brand new uh, pinball machines that is. So this place is just straight up called the Arcade. Aptly named. Some of these games I've always loved, but never had a chance to, uh, like, actually play in an arcade version, like Joust. Ever since I was a kid, I've loved Joust, but always played it, like, on Atari or... So, me and my two daughters played this for about 45 minutes. So much fun. Um, of course, I played it as a kid in malls and arcades and stuff, but maxing out your vehicles, I forgot about that part of the, the experience where you actually can, in between levels, get cash and upgrade your tires and engine, all that stuff. And as we know, this one is getting released soon. Thanks, Arcade 1UP. got the four player cabinets over here, NBA Jam, Glitz, of course Turtles. The uh, OG Space Invaders. Of course Double Dragon, no arcades. Double Dragon. Super Mario Bros. Punch Out. Got some shooters over here. Battle Toads. I did see Contra around here somewhere too. Got some Tron. Centipede, Dig Dug, Paperboy, Tempest, Pole Position. My girls had quite a bit of fun playing Tubin. A couple Star Wars machines. And this is kind of cool. I hadn't seen this before, but they have a camera installed above each machine. So you can, I'm sure this is pretty normal, but I hadn't really ever seen that before. And it's a live video feed of the table. So if I, let's see. Yeah, you can see my hand right there. But got some good machines here, of course. We got everybody's favorite, Adam's Family. Ghostbusters was pretty fun. So like I said, these are a quarter of play. I'm sure you probably still have to pay to get in. Um, and then it's a quarter per play. I'm not sure if you can just come in and play for a quarter apiece. If so, that'd be pretty sweet. I'm gonna ask on my way out. But um, like my wife, she's able to just come in and for free and not play, hang out with us, make sure we're not getting into trouble. But super fun. Um, oh yeah, and they've got Baby Pack, man. There's my son. Or not Baby, yeah, it is Baby Pack, excuse me. Is it fun? 
Or is it hard? I've heard it's really hard. Yikes, that's rough. So, do you have to put in a quarter to play this one? No, sir. Uh, you just die, and then these things open up, and if you go down one, it goes into the pit. Oh, okay. But you gotta die first. That's cool. It actually says how to do it. It says you use escapes to play pinball. Game on. <laughs> 